In 2004, there was a guy named Mitch who was attending a university in Louisiana as a senior. In his class was a girl named Kayla, also a senior. Mitch was deeply infatuated with Kayla and wanted to date her more than anything. Despite his efforts, Kayla seemed disinterested, often playing hard to get. However, Mitch sensed there was a possibility she liked him back. Eventually, Kayla agreed to go on a date with him, and they hit it off. They became an item, graduated, and by 2006, they had married and bought their dream home in Louisiana, complete with a white picket fence. Life was perfect for Mitch and Kayla. They loved their careers and were intentional about spending quality time together on weekends. They welcomed their first child, a daughter, in 2007, and their son in 2009. With their family complete, Mitch and Kayla cherished their time together, maintaining a balance between family and romantic date nights, always ensuring they had a babysitter when needed. In 2009, Mitch was home alone watching football. As he watched the game, he noticed something strange about a red lamp in the back right corner of the room. The lamp, not the light bulb, appeared blurry while the rest of the room was in focus. Rubbing his eyes, Mitch confirmed that everything else was clear except the lamp. Concerned, he approached the lamp, but it remained blurry even when he touched it. Dismissing it as a minor issue, he returned to the couch, trying to ignore the blurry lamp. As the football game continued, Mitch saw the lamp flip upside down on its own, though it remained blurry. Alarmed and convinced something was wrong, Mitch felt he should call a doctor, but found himself unable to do so. When his wife Kayla and their kids returned home, Mitch decided not to mention the lamp, hoping it was just a passing issue. That night, while Kayla slept, Mitch couldn't shake the feeling about the lamp. He went downstairs and spent the entire night staring at it. The next morning, Kayla found Mitch on the couch, claiming he felt too sick to go to work. Concerned, Kayla left with the kids, and Mitch spent the entire day fixated on the lamp. By evening, when Kayla returned, she found Mitch in the same position, unresponsive and focused on the lamp. She called the doctor while urging the kids upstairs, worried about Mitch's state. As Kayla spoke with the doctor, Mitch's perception of the lamp changed again. It grew larger, consuming his field of vision until it enveloped him entirely. He felt intense pain in his head, heard ringing in his ears, and was surrounded by darkness. Suddenly, Mitch found himself on the ground, surrounded by college students. Confused and disoriented, he stood up, searching for his wife and kids, but they were nowhere to be found. A police officer rushed over, grabbed Mitch, and drove him to the hospital, explaining that Mitch had hit his head. At the hospital, Mitch learned the truth. He was a senior in college who had been tackled during a football game, hitting his head and losing consciousness for only a few seconds. In that brief time, his brain had constructed an entire alternate life with a wife, children, and a dream home. None of it was real. Mitch had to come to terms with the fact that the life he had cherished was a figment of his imagination, leading to profound grief over people who never existed.